plans to open a hot dog cart, I bet you've seen videos like this showing how much money you could make. We've had weekends where we've grossed $6,000, about a thousand dogs a week. Finished one box of hamburgers, a half a box of hot dogs, and I sold all of, like most of my chips and a couple of beverages, but so I got more, so. So about, four, 405, and how long did it take? Uh, about two hours. We made more money in those two days than my husband makes in a month. We ran around 6,000. But are stories like this for real or just dumb luck? I want you to take a look at this. Go to eBay right now and type in hot dog carts and just start scrolling through. Just look at all the carts that are for sale on here. You can find barely used carts and equipment for sale in every state and every major city in America. Sadly, each listing represents a failed business. It's the same story on other sites like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Check out this listing I found in Hollywood, California. This guy's selling a hot dog cart with three umbrellas, a work table, chip clips, pans, tongs, condiment bottles. The listing claims this is between five and six thousand dollars worth of equipment and I definitely believe him based on all the photos here. But get this, this guy is willing to sell all his equipment for $2,000 or best offer. This is mentioned two times in the listing, so you know this is a motivated seller. And here's my favorite part, where the owner points out that with the right spot, you could make 200K per year. Let me know in the comments if you think this person would be willing to sell all his equipment for less than two grand, if he thought he had any real chance of ever making 200K per year with it. And let's have a conversation. Let me know why you're thinking about getting into the hot dog business below. Are you trying to make a little money on the side to cover the increased cost of living? Just love eating hot dogs, let me know. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the hot dog cart business model and highlight some of the stories of vendors who got their spots taken away or simply weren't able to make enough money to continue operating. I'm not just serving up hot dogs here, but hard truths about the world of sausage slinging. So let's get into it. Now to start, I totally understand why the hot dog business is so appealing to people. I've even looked at it myself because this opportunity just sounds so good. According to market data forecast, the global hot dog market was valued at 72 billion in 2022 and is expected to reach 95 billion by 2027. Great, you're probably thinking you've discovered a massive market with a lot of opportunity. Here's how the hot dog dream usually goes online. You get to be your own boss, sell a product that's easy to make and literally everyone wants. The next step, of course, is to start estimating how much money you could make by selling 50, 100, 200 hot dogs per day. Take, for example, Gourmet Franks, a premium hot dog spot located in Apollo Alto Mall. On average, this little business sells 85 hot dog meals per day at an average order value of $15. This means the business makes $1,275 per day, about $38,000 per month, or $459,000 per year. Now on YouTube, all this sounds great, even after the expenses like rent, taxes, and inventory, you could still stand to make fantastic money that's well above the typical income in America. And this is all without having to invest much money or learn an entirely new skill. But here's the dark side of the hot dog business that nobody on YouTube seems to be talking about. The sad fact is most vendors, they're not gonna be able to find a location where they can sell 85 hot dog meals per day, much less 150 meals a day for $15 a pop. Most of them are only gonna be able to reach 50, 75, 100 sales on the weekends or when they can get a special event. And depending on where you live, you might only be able to sell your hot dog between $8 and $10 on average. This could mess up your numbers. When I look at the hot dog business, finding a cart or figuring out how to operate the business, that's just not gonna be the challenge for you. Real talk time, let's face it, with a little bit of practice, anyone can make a good tasting hot dog and source some buns from somewhere, right? The trick in this business is to find locations where you can go out and make consistent money month after month year after year. One vendor who had to make multiple location changes over the years is Howard's Hot Dogs Coney Island in Traverse City, Michigan. Howard has been serving up Coney Dogs to the bar crowd from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. for about a decade now. Howard averages $2,000 per week in sales, but the business didn't start out this way. At first, Howard was having a hard time making the business work by vending outside a volleyball arena and just other lunch spots around town. Howard was selling the same high quality hot dogs and provided the same level of customer service. He was the same person, but he didn't start making that real hot dog money until he moved to a busy street with bars and started serving in the evenings instead of the day. <laughs> Keep in mind that even after you find a good spot, 
It doesn't mean the location is gonna stay profitable forever. A great location spot can turn into a no hot dog zone seemingly overnight. For example, in early 2023, the location Howard leased for eight years was sold to a developer. The result? Howard had to get out there and find a new place to sell hot dogs all over again. He basically had to rebuild his business. Not everyone is gonna be able to adapt in business when things stop working like Howard has been able to. And you're gonna to have to be ready to change locations, change your menu, change your brand if you wanna run a real hot dog cart that's gonna be successful for years to come. The sad thing is most wannabe vendors give up if things don't work out right away. The next warning is that running a hot dog cart is gonna be a lot more work and a lot more time consuming than it looks like on YouTube. If you're changing locations, Keep in mind that traveling, setting up a hot dog cart, and restocking inventory is a time-consuming process. Running a hot dog cart can be more physically demanding than you think too. Try standing outside a cart for hours on end in the hot sun, cold, or wind. Let me know how it goes for you. Running a hot dog cart also requires personal sacrifices. More often than not, you're not working at times other people have off, like the weekends or holidays, which can impact your personal time and relationships. In the example with Howard's Hot Dogs, this guy works nights and weekends. That's all, that's the only time he works. This is hard to do if you have a family at home, so it's just something you gotta think about. As we wrap up, remember, the hot dog business can be profitable with the right location, with the right menu, but it's not as easy as the YouTube videos make it seem. Expect slow days where profits are slim and understand that not everyone succeeds, as evidenced by the abundance of used carts for sale online. In other words, think carefully before buying a $2,000 hot dog cart off Craigslist. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think about the hot dog business in the comments below. Is this something you're planning to start this year? I'm a small YouTube channel and I respond to all legit comments that come through. And if you're looking for a side business, check out my database, 102 business ideas in the resource box below this video. Access to the database is free and gives you side hustle ideas with revenue numbers and startup costs for each business. This database includes revenue from profitable, solo founded business opportunities you might not know about like parking lot cleaning, towing, junk removal, auto detailing, online businesses, and more. If you want to start a new business idea this year, sign up for the database below this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.